promise I do not bite. There are lots of empty seats here. Um, the first thing I'm going to say is a huge thank you to invite, for inviting me to a place that honestly fills me with just absolute joy. I can't think of coming into a bookstore and seeing more books that make me happy um, and more thinkers that make me happy. So whether or not these seats fill up, I'm already extremely happy in my heart to be here. Um, but I do want to talk about fear, and I want to talk about the moment that we're living in. Um, I'm a journalist. I have been a journalist for 25 years at this point. And I write about social justice themes. I write about areas that feel to me unjust, and that I want to explore, whether they're about homelessness or about the prison system, affordable housing, or racial inequality. And these are the stories that have animated me since, as Theo said, the early 1990s. And for the last few years, I've been writing about Donald Trump. He does terrible things to one's soul. I don't recommend it. If you can possibly avoid writing about Donald Trump, do something else. But I wake up most mornings, and I'm absolutely astonished by where this country has ended up. I'm absolutely astonished when I hear these news headlines about the level of demagoguery and the level of political opportunism and the willingness to stoke any and every fear for short-term political advantage. And part of me thinks this is completely unfamiliar, that I've gone down the rabbit hole and I'm like this Lewis Carroll figure. I've woken up in this world that makes no sense. And another part of me, the part of me that's been going around this country and talking to people for 25 years, thinks, hang on a second, this makes a whole bunch of sense. And it makes a whole bunch of sense because of things that have been happening, and trends that have been developing in this country for decades. And I want to explore that. I want to explore how we reach this point where fear could be our currency of communication where fear could be this social solvent that for millions and millions and millions of Americans is the thing that binds them together into community. Now, about 22, 21 years ago, I'd come out of journalism school, I'd finished being an intern at The Nation, and there was a presidential election going on. It was 1996, and there were a couple political